See this term panmixia refers to a population which is panmictic. Panmictic population means a population which shows random mating. In fact, diploid sexually reproducing populations which do not have discrimination among males and females, particularly with respect to mating, is considered to be a panmictic population. Although this does not happen in every population, you find that majority of populations of animals, they show actually selective mating, but it refers to an ideal condition. While studying hardy windward equilibrium, we come to know that if a population is very large one and randomly mating one, then gene and genotype frequency will remain constant generation after generation, provided the population does not experience mutation, selection, drift, and gene flow. But this panmixia refers to random mating in the population. This we can understand by seeing this diagram. You see, here is a large population of wild beast. The individuals of this population, if they mate randomly among them, then that will be a panmictic population. In this diagram also, you can see that there are males and females of human individuals of a particular area. And through these lines, random mating is shown. That is, male of a particular type is not having discrimination for mating. This individual may mate with any female of this population. And same thing happens with females also. Then this becomes a randomly mating population. Although this does not happen, selective matings do take place. So because of that, the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium gets affected. And if you want to define panmixia or panmictic population, we can say that panmixia refers to a situation in which all individuals within a population are equally likely to mate with each other without any restrictions or biases. This means there is no preference for mating based on geographic location genetic relatedness or other factors. In a panmictic population, gene flow is random, leading to a well-mixed gene pool where every individual has an equal chance of contributing to the next generation. This concept is often contrasted with a structured population, that is those populations which are divided into subgroups where matings is non-random, due to factors like physical barriers, social structures, or ecological niches. We should know that if a population is very large one, then there definitely there would be higher chance of random mating. But generally, several populations remain in constricted or small shape, and that is why inbreeding or close uh, breeding between close relatives may be taking place. So that will not be a kind of panmictic you know, population because short uh, populations or population having less number of individuals, they have higher chance of inbreeding and uh, random mating will not be possible in such cases. So one should know the meaning of panmictic or panmixia, which simply refers to random mating in a population. The population could be of plants, could be of animals, fungi or any other organism which is deployed and sexually reproducing one.